Well, the doctor is in, and today it is Dr. Edward Rylander from Ascension Medicine Group. And today, with kids heading back to school, we're talking about backpack safety and how it can actually hurt your child if done incorrectly. Thanks for joining us. Very happy to be here. So we know this is an issue that so many kids, you know, deal with going back to school, heavy backpacks. What would you say causes an injury and, you know, parents need to be aware of? So the biggest thing is the weight of the backpack. We're really, the, all of the people that think about this and do research on it say that they want you to limit the weight of the child's backpack to somewhere around 15% of the child's weight. So for most kids, that means they can only carry about two or three books in their backpack. And parents are buying them big backpacks that will hold five or six books, and the kids want to bring all their so books. So they need to hold some of yeah, those, those items. They need to hold the items. So um, it, it requires a lot of communication with the teachers on which books they need on which days, not just carrying everything with them all the time. And maybe even keeping some of the backpacks in their I mean, the books in their lockers as well, maybe. Keeping them in their lockers, keeping them in their desks, keeping, if it's possible with the school systems, having a book at school and a book at home. There's just lots of ways of doing that. And then also looking at online, there's increasingly, you know, there's numbers of textbooks that are available online so they don't have to haul them back and forth. That's something to keep yeah. in mind, the power of technology. Exactly. And so many parents may, you know, be wondering, you know, as far as, you know, injuries goes, why is, you know, limiting the number of books in the backpack, why is it so important? What injuries can kids get? So kids start out with 33 bones in their spine. They kind of, over time, fuse down and grow into having 24 bones. Those bones are all the way through their body, and when you weigh a lot on your backpack, you're, you're going to kind of hunch forward and then keep your neck up so you've got neck pain shoulder pain and low back pain and they've actually done studies on kids that go to the doctors for those complaints as they're growing up and how much weight they usually carry and those are the kids that are carrying 20 and 30 and even 40 percent of their weight around in their backpack so you know as a parent or a grandparent i wouldn't have my child carrying 20 or 30 pound bags of concrete around all day but no, we're having sense. them do that with books and so for people at home that may be wondering what what should the backpack look like on the child where you know you know this is right this isn't going to harm my child okay first thing is size it should be smaller than the child's back it should ride above the low of their back the straps they should use both straps that's another thing that throws them way off if you got all that weight and then you just use one strap but, but two well-fitted straps and then the child when you walk you know, you see the child walking away from the car into school or coming up to you, the child should be walking upright. If the child's bent over, then that's going to hurt their back and their hips from carrying that weight. Well, perfect. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Rylander. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.